Hello, First Baptist Church family. Uh, I wanted to share with you something that I shared with the whole church last Sunday, and it was a lot of details. I want to be sure that uh, you had opportunity to soak it all in. Many of you are familiar with Compassion International. It's a great ministry, and our church has partnered with them for a good number of years, and, and for good reason. Uh, compassion, usually when we think about Compassion, we think about it in terms of child sponsorship, but Compassion is uh, a lot more than just child sponsorship. They have a far-reaching ministry. Their, uh, uh, their, their uh, main statement of this is who we are is releasing children from poverty in Jesus' name. And when we think about poverty, usually we think about spirit, uh, physical poverty, but poverty is a lot more than just uh, physical poverty. It is also spiritual poverty, relational poverty, educational poverty. And uh, what we love about Compassion International is that they address all those different areas of releasing children from the poverty that those things bring to a life, to a family, to a village, to a country. So what Compassion does is they look for the most impoverished children in impoverished places in the world, and they seek to raise children out of that poverty. One of those countries is Haiti, and we have been presented with an opportunity to enter into a community called Lorquette in Haiti, to partner with a mother church uh, that's not too far away that has a compassion center in it where they're already working with children. And what we're going to do is we're going to partner with that mother church to plant this new church in Lorquette with a compassion center at the heart of what they do. At our church, we say our church is built around our Bible fellowship groups or Sunday school. For uh, this church, it'll be built around a compassion center. And I think it has great possibilities for us in ministering internationally in a different way than we've done before. We've never had an ongoing daughter church partnership internationally. While the mother church provides the land and they've already purchased the land, the mother church also provides a pastor that's trained. Uh, a, it's a Baptist church, planning a Baptist church in Lorquette. And uh, the mother church has already trained that pastor. He's serving at the mother church now and he'll be moving to the new location uh, as soon as we uh, do our part to uh, launch the new church. Now, what Compassion International has asked for from us is they're asking for us to give just under $77,000. What do we get for $77,000? Well, we get a, a large multi-purpose space. It'd be a worship center, something they'd use for the Compassion Center. Uh, for the community as a whole, probably the nicest building in the community. Uh, accommodate 200 or more adults. There'll be uh, fully operational kitchen facilities because when the children are there, uh, they're going to feed the children. So they get a healthy meal, but also it's something that they would use for the church. And then two to three large uh, classrooms where in the Compassion Center, they would be doing all the things they do with children to help them grow in, in wisdom and stature and favor with God and favor with man, the core things about a Compassion Center. And this becomes a place where those families, not just the children who are in the Compassion Center, but the families come. Something else that is provided by what we give, and it sounds so very simple, are restroom facilities at the Compassion Center, which is the church. And uh, I got to visit four different Compassion Centers in Peru with uh, a group of pastors. We were, we were looking at seeing Compassion's work up close and personal, and we visited one where the little girl that we sponsor in Peru, she is there. And uh, no plumbing facilities, sewage facilities. It's a, it's a very third world place. But uh, we asked the parents of these children, they, they gathered up, celebrated a bunch of Americans being there, and we asked, so what are you most excited about? What are you most grateful for having a, a church with a Compassion Center in your community? And Multiple hands went up, and uh, moms, mostly moms there, said, we're grateful for the restroom facilities. And so we asked, well, why? And uh, one of those questions you, you wish you hadn't asked, what you hear the answer, what they said was, uh, our children have to go to the restroom out in the fields, typically, and uh, when, when they go out, there are men who are predators, who uh, will molest our children, and we can't always go with them. And because of the Compassion Center, we have, we have a safe place for our children to go to the restroom. 
And I, I don't know what caring for your children and keeping your children safe feels like at your house, but when, but when the level of care is that, uh, God help us if we don't make a difference in that. We love compassion and partnering with them and this mother church because uh, they are always going to be local church focused. They're going to be Jesus focused. They're going to be gospel focused. And those values are things that are valuable to us too. So what would happen is we send this money and uh, immediately they would begin the process of building the building. The money for building the building goes to local workers in that community of about 7,000 people. The things that we know about Lorquette, 7,000 people in this community, there is not a gospel teaching church in the community. And the other thing is that uh, average family income in Lorquette is about $21 a month per family. So extreme poverty anywhere in the world is measured at $2 uh, a day for a family. This is well below extreme poverty. So extreme physical poverty, extreme spiritual poverty, and we want to address those things in this place. There are a lot of folks who are poor in the world, and we can't address them all, but we can start with this one. And I pray that we continue on. The great part about this is we'll get to partner with this local church in Lorquette for years to come. This will become a place where we can go for mission trips. We can have a relationship of praying for them, caring for them, encouraging them, growing them in all kinds of different ways. And uh, because the Compassion Center is at the center of what they do, one of the privileges that will be ours, about six months into this, this is about a 12-month process to go from the time we give them the money, the $77,000, until the time that uh, the church and the Compassion Center are fully operational. Uh, we will have the privilege They'll, be, they'll start with about 150 children in the Compassion Center, and our church will have the opportunity to sponsor all 150 children. They hope to reach a capacity at some point of about 450 children. This will have a tremendous impact on the community and on God's kingdom work in the world, and we look forward to what God's going to do. So here's the challenge. I want to challenge you to give and to give generously uh, to make this possible. To begin your giving, you can give with an offering envelope. You can give with uh, online, your own regular online giving. I'm grateful for so many who give online. Uh, if you'll designate your gift for Compassion or Haiti, it will get to where it needs to be. Uh, last Sunday, uh, I shared the need, and a lot of people started giving. Rhonda and I, uh, at our house, we already sponsor two children through Compassion. We sp sponsor a child in Africa. We sponsor one in Peru. And one of the things that we have seen through our, uh, our sponsorship is just our hearts for the world growing, the way we pray for that part of the world grows, and we know we're making a difference in the life of the child and their family and, and their village. Uh, so we'll have the opportunity to sponsor that 150 children, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of our heart gets invested in that place. So start giving immediately. Rhonda and I have made a commitment in addition to sponsoring we're going to add a child in Haiti when that opportunity comes around. But also, uh, we're going to begin, we're not going to ask you to do something we're not going to do. So we've already made a commitment to give $1,000 between now and the end of April as a part of this project. So we have the giving season for that long. Uh, pray about that. You, your gift may be more than that. It may be less than that. But we want everybody to give to be a part of something as special as starting a new church in one of the in a broken place in the world so that Jesus can be glorified, the gospel can go forward, and we can just know the blessing of being God's, uh, God's great plan. Thank you for your attention to this. If you have any questions, feel free to call, email anytime. God bless you.